Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing the OG king of snipers, the DLQ-33, with the newest sniper inside of the game, the Rytek AMR. Now, this video is going to be extremely in-depth, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked the video, subscribed, and also left a comment in the comment section below, because it did take a lot of testing and a lot of time to make. I just want to give a quick disclaimer that all of the testing done in this video and all of the gameplay is going to be based on a specific set of attachments for the Ritek and for the DLQ. Now, the reason I'm not testing base attachments, like a default DLQ or whatever, is because this is th those statistics are simply just not applicable to an actual game situation because you're not going to be using a default DLQ. You're going to be using the DLQ with the best attachments possible or the Ritek with the best attachments possible. And this is obviously going to be um, right Tech and DLQ with all ADS paid attachments. All right, so the layout of this video, first we're gonna be taking a look at the gunsmith loadout. So you can see what I'm basing my testing off. Then we're going to go to the uh, statistics. We're gonna be measuring ADS speed, sway, reload, everything like that. And then afterwards, we're gonna be having a look at my opinions on the gun and then my final decision on which one is better. But yeah, um, make sure to go ahead and join my Discord server. I'll be linking that in the, the, uh, the description. And also make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll put my out on screen right now. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. All right, so starting off with the damage, headshots 160 for the right tech, hands 120. And if we get down to around here, it's still a one shot. But if you get down to this little rod looking thing around the middle, that's when you start getting hit markers and the legs get hit markers too. At the longer ranges, so this is 40 meters, you can see that there's actually damage drop off. It drops from 160 to 140 in the head. And also the hitbox um, actually gets smaller for the one shot potential. So now it's only upper chest that you can one shot with the right tech. Um, yeah. So test that again for the legs, 70. All right, so for the DLQ, we'll test the head around 162. Yep. Arms, all one shot. Uh, middle body, all one shot. And if we get down to this little area here. Okay, so it's basically around this, it's got around the same hit um, hitbox as the right tech. So yeah, I, I don't really see too much of a difference in terms of hitbox between the right tech and the DLQ. Over to 40 meters, 162 in the head. So there's actually no damage drop off at all. The hitboxes remain the exact same. So DLQ and right tech have these same hitboxes, except when the ranges get a little bit longer. All right, so in terms of movement speed, side by side on screen right now, walking in a straight line, basically just same. And over here, we're gonna be taking a look at some sway. So we'll center this in the middle. Get the right tech going. All right, so moving all the way to the bottom right. Now I should mention that the right tech can randomly go to any side. So you can go top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So it makes it really unpredictable when you're swaying and um, makes hard scoping much, much harder. Uh, if we hop over to the DLQ over here, D DLQ is always gonna to go to the top left and it's always going to sway back to the bottom right. Um, it's always going to be really like, you know, consistent and easy to predict, when, especially when hard scoping compared to the right tech. All right, so over here we got um, recoil. This is the right tech, and <laughs> it's got a crazy amount of recoil. It takes it takes like five seconds to go back down, which is which is really crazy, and it's just not good for hard scoping. Now over here we got the DLQ. As you can see, the recoil is literally non-existent really really quick over here we have the right tech once again we're going to be testing fire rate and the fire rate is much faster um especially when quick scoping as well as you guys can see on screen right now however uh, hard scoping um you know you're not gonna be able to able to utilize that fire rate uh here we have the dlq it has definitely has a slower fire rate um but obviously the recoil is more controllable so you can hard scope and spam um, but when you're doing quick scope spamming, uh, the DLQ has a little bit of a delay because it just can't keep up. So fire rate is not as fast on the DLQ. 
In terms of ADS speed, the DLQ gets to the final frame just a little bit faster, but in game, you basically won't notice a difference. Okay, now we have um, reload speed. As you can see, the DLQ is much faster. Here's a table summary of the stats. All right, I wanna start this segment off with one thing. Do not use any of the magazines that are available to you on the Ritec. Don't use any of them. They're trash. Okay, now, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's just get into the nitty gritties of both these guns. So as you saw from the statistics there, it seemed like the DLQ was much better in terms of statistics, right? Um, although it did get beaten in terms of fire rate, but let's be honest here, people aren't gonna be lining up for you you know, to, to shoot them every single second. So getting those flacco feeds um, where you can just go quick scope, quick scope, quick scope, one after another, lining up for you, is going to be pretty rare. And so it's really down to the other statistics that really make up how good and reliable a gun is. Now, moving up, moving aside from statistics, because we've, we've already looked at them, and um, I'll let you guys make your opinion on the statistics after watching the whole segment. I think you guys have formed an opinion of whether or not you like or dislike um, any one of the guns. But let's get into my opinion, get into the personal feel of these weapons. Now, I feel like the DLQ has a bit of an advantage over the Ritec in this area, just because it's been in the game for so much longer and people have just gotten used to it so much more. So I'll try to tone down uh, my opinions on the DLQ just a little bit um, to make it not as biased. All right, let's talk about feel. Every single gun vs gun video I ever make I talk about feel. Feel is so incredibly important. Everyone has their own feeling. Everyone can use a gun better than they can use another gun. And even if a gun is statistically better than let's say another gun, the way you feel about a particular weapon can make one gun triumph over another. For example, you could say that, oh, um, the best gun in the game is the ASVAL, but I perform the best with the RUS. So statistically, the ASVAL is so much better than the RUS, but sometimes you can perform better with another gun, even though it has a statistical disadvantage. Now, let's, have, let's take a look at the, uh, the Ritec. So the Ritec is, a, it feels kind of slow. It feels a little bit more sluggish than the DLQ. Um, it feels a little bit heavier on the heavier side. On the more obese side, okay, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it doesn't feel as fast, as sleek, as smooth as the DLQ. It feels more like an Arctic 50, and it kind of feels like a, a budget DLQ. So, in my opinion, you can say whatever you want in the comment section, but I think that the DLQ is much, much better than the Ritec. Like, I'm talking by a lot. I'm not just talking about statistics. I'm talking about the feeling of a gun, how good it feels on my hands, how confident I am to use that gun, how reliable it feels to me. You know what I'm saying? This type of stuff is so important with snipers. DLQ and the Locust, statistics don't matter that much. It's mainly how you feel with the gun. The same thing is applicable to the Ritec versus the DLQ. And my feeling and the feeling of most people in the game um, right now is that DLQ is better than the Ritec statistically and on a personal scale.